Hello and welcome back to Sweet Leaf Soapery's YouTube channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Faith Ann Bodiani and I am the owner and soap maker of Sweet Leaf Soapery. For today's soap, I'm going to be making a beautiful honeysuckle scented soap. And for the design, it is going to be a tiger swirl soap. Truthfully, I do not have a name for this soap yet, so if you're watching and you think of a name for this soap, let me know in the comments below. I might just pick it for this soap. And before I get started, I will be doing two soap uploads this month, and I will talk about that towards the end of the video. But without further ado, let's make our soap for today. So my oils look a little bit different today, and that's because I have chosen to use colloidal oatmeal in my soap today. When you are adding additives, whether it's kaolin clay or colloidal oatmeal or activated charcoal or whatever, it's best to disperse it in your oils before you put your lye water in. And that's just so there aren't any clumps in your soap of whatever additive you're using. stick blended my oils and lye together. My batter is just at emulsification and that means that it is not even at trace yet or a proper thickness if you will. And the reason that I did this and I usually blend it just to about emulsification is because my fragrance oil is supposed to speed up batter a little bit so I want to keep it as runny and as fluid as possible. Okay, so I'm going to have three colors for my soap today. And I'm going to try a tiger swirl. So I'm going to try to evenly eyeball these out. For my colorants today, I have some Shimmer Gold Mica in this container, some Rapture in this container, and in this container, I have Honey Blush mixed with a little bit of Yellow Vibrance, and all of my colorants today are from Nurture Soap. And because I want my trace to be as thin as possible, I'm just going to blend these in with a whisk instead of my stick blender. Now it's time for me to add my fragrance oil. This is Honeysuckle from Nature's Garden Candle. And I've never used this fragrance oil before. I'm very interested to see how it smells afterwards. And again, I will be blending this in by hand in order to keep my trace as thin as possible. So how I'm going to pour this today is I'm just going to do one line down the middle. And then I'm going to go in with my next color and just keep pouring straight down the middle. My pink is really thickening up. My other two colors are still really fluid, but that pink is setting up quite fast. Oh, and so is the shimmer gold. So because this thickened up while I was pouring, I didn't really talk a whole lot. So enjoy some relaxing music while I do this tiger swirl design. Okay, so I've had my fragrance oil in the batter for probably a minute or so now, and it is very thick. So if you're going to use this honeysuckle fragrance from Nature's Garden, just know that it really does thicken up. Florals tend to thicken up your soap. I don't know why. That's just a common thing in floral fragrance oils. And I'm sorry that my table is so messy. I usually clean it up. Uh, in between whatever I'm doing, I'm just trying to get this in before it's too thick to work with. Now that my batter is too thick to pour, I'm just going to scrape out all of my containers and start texturing the top. So I cleaned up my table a bit, I tapped my soap down on the floor, and now it's time for me to texture the top. 
So I'm just texturing the top with this fork here and I'm dragging the soap to one side and trying to get like a little wave on this side. So now that is textured to my liking, I'm going to put a sprinkle of poppy seeds and some Epsom salt that have been colored with gold mica on this part here. So I have my Epsom salt and my poppy seeds on top of my soap. And before anyone comments or asks or texts me behind the scenes, uh, those poppy seeds are just for soap purposes only. You guys watched me put my soapy gloves in the bag. I do not eat those. And with the fork that I use to texture the top, I have a couple of plastic forks that are only for soap. So anytime you see me whip out a plastic fork or a plastic spoon, just know it's never been in my mouth. It never will be used to consume food with. They are just for soap only, and I actually wash them and reuse them. But here is the tops of our soaps, and I will be back in 18 to 24 hours to cut our loaf into bars. Alright, so it has been just a little bit shy of 24 hours, and I'm going to cut this honeysuckle soap. And I'm going to turn this on its side so all of the poppy seeds and the salt is on the bottom just so it doesn't leave any drag marks through my soap. And I'm very curious to see how this one looks because it thickened up on us. Okay, so here is the first cut. And I'm very pleased with these. I think these are super cute. So quick disclaimer for anyone who uses colloidal oatmeal in their soap or is thinking about using colloidal oatmeal, it makes your soap smell like Nair hair remover for the first couple days. So I'll be back in a day or so to give you guys an update on how this bar smells. But I think these came out really cute and I hope you guys love them. For those of you who are curious on what happens to my end pieces, I actually cut them up into tiny sample bars and I place them in my orders. So every package gets about one or two sample sizes. Like I stated in the beginning of my video, I have no idea what to name these soaps. So if you have an idea on what I should call these, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out my channel. These soaps will be available May 1st, 7 p.m. Mountain Time on my Etsy shop. Due to the global pandemic that is happening right now, I will actually be having a, another soap release in just a couple days. I've been upping my production, so April will have two soap releases. I usually just do the first of the month every month, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. It's very standard. But I will be uploading three more soaps on my Etsy shop on Wednesday, April 15th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. If you would like to stay updated on my soap and new things that are going on and fragrances and all that fun stuff, I have an Instagram and a Facebook. Those are both just at Sweetleaf Soapery. And they're very fun to follow because I post about flash sales that I may have or I ask you guys personally what fragrances you'd like to see in soap. And my Instagram and my Facebook usually get a first look at everything. So those are both just at Sweetleaf Soapery. So there is a global pandemic happening right now and it's very scary and I know a lot of people are unable to work. So if you are genuinely unable to afford soap right now, please let me know. I have a bin of soap that is just for donation purposes only and especially in these uncertain times, we really need to keep our hygiene and our hand washing up. So if you're genuinely unable to afford soap, please let me know. I would love to help you out. And with all that being said, my video is now over and I hope you all have a fabulous day and you're all staying healthy and safe and inside if you're able to. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.